Yurkinu Gova. Uh, greetings from Hungary. This is the GNG Garage. My name is Greg, and his name is Greg as well, just so it is more easy to remember. Friend. So, we are only dealing with the speeds. Uh, the Speed 3, 6 and the CX-7. And as you can see, we are renovating engines and uh, tuning as well, performance increasing. Uh, as you can see, this engine is uh, renovated. It has forged internals, uh, single mass flywheel, and of course your big turbos. So uh, we truly appreciate uh, the thought of you to make us a video and promotional material for you. Uh, we are truly uh, grateful for that. Um, as you can see, uh, with this engine, this is your new turbo with the STS55 uh, exhaust wheel as well. And there are a few minor issues that I would like to show you and give feedback on. So the first thing is the water feed line. Uh, as you can see, these two uh, pipes has to be connected. And the angle uh, of this one is pretty bad for that to come back. So if this pipe would be just bent 90 degrees in that direction, then it would be uh, specific to the MPS and it would be really easy to install. The other thing that uh, has some kind of problems are the oil drain lines. So in the free MPS, you do not have a transfer case and you can install this line just fine. But for the 6 and the CX7, you have the transfer case here and this elbow is just way too big for it to fit. So it must be like one and a half centimeters smaller in order to fit the drain line. There are some companies in America that uh, make a smaller elbow and that easily fits. So if you can modify this design, then we could install it to all the, all the cars. Uh, usually this pipe, the OEM pipe breaks. So it would be a really nice thing to install. As you can see, this part here always breaks there. So we would really like to use this, but we can't because the transfer case just won't fit it. The other problem is with the... Sorry, the wastegate? Yeah, so the next thing is the wastegate. Uh, you always send this pumped up with the two uh, controller mode, but we always make it free port. So this one usually just gets trashed and this one gets plugged. So if you can supply a plug for this, it will be much easier to install. And please always give this with a one and a half bar spring installed because that gives us around a bar of spring pressure. And that's the exact pressure we have to use and we can go higher with. So please just give a plug for this one and install the one and a half bar spring. So uh, the turbo feed line, it just simply, it's, it doesn't have the right dimensions and we will just show you real quick. So this is the banjo that you supply and this is the OEM one. As you can see, the one that you supply is just bigger so it will simply not fit the engine. But if we change the banjo to the OEM one, it still doesn't fit because of the design of the bolt. Um, first of all, it's just bigger. And the second thing is, as you can see here, even if we use the OEM one, You, you, can't, you can't install the line there because of the nut is too big for that. So you must change it to a smaller one and redesign this part because the nut on the line just won't fit. And it wouldn't reach a turbo at all. So you just can't install it right there. Okay. Um, we have made a lot of pictures and everything about installing this turbo. And after this engine gets put in the car, um, we will tune it and send you the dyno sheets as well. So these are just some small, small problems that have to be fixed, but nothing major, I guess. 
so we are truly grateful for you to select us to make use of these materials. And in Hungary, we only use your toolbox because we have installed like 30 of them and none of them failed so far, of course, obviously. And for the OEM fuel system, this is more than enough. And it has great response and we truly appreciate your work that you are doing with always improving your designs. Um, I guess that's all I have to say this evening. So thank you very much. Thank you very much.